What's going on, everybody? It's Tom from Ludesco Microscopes, and today we are doing our very first video blog post, and we're going to focus on the Cooled PE300 high intensity LED fluorescence light source. So, we're going to post one video a month where we really dive in deep and take a look at a new product, talk about all the features, how to set it up, and then we'll talk about some uh, real world applications for that product. All right, so before we get into the specifics of the Cooled PE300, I wanted to talk a little bit about why you would want to choose an LED light source over a mercury or a metal halide. Okay, so here are four benefits to going with an LED fluorescence light source. Reason number one. Long lasting lifespan. With the PE300, we get 25,000 hours of continuous use. Compare that to 300 hours on a mercury light source or 2,000 on a metal halide. Not to mention the cost savings associated with that. With a mercury lamp, you have to replace it every 300 hours. That's $140 every 300 hours, plus any installation costs or alignment costs associated with that. The metal halide's a little bit better at 2,000 hours, but still, we're gonna pay about $600, $700 for a replacement lamp. Instant on, off. No warm up time, no time in between starting and stopping the lamp. That's a really big benefit. If you're in a lab where you have many users, people have to sign out the microscope, you're not sure if they turned it off five minutes beforehand, 30 minutes beforehand. And the worst thing that you can do with a mercury light source is start that lamp when it's hot. Big problems. Instant on off also means there's no need for a mechanical shutter. So if you have experiments where you need to shutter the light, all we have to do is turn that LED on and off. Reason number three. It's environmentally friendly. So mercury systems and metal halide systems both contain mercury. Aww. It's also environmentally friendly from a power consumption point of view because the PE300 only uses 46 watts of power at full intensity. Go green or go home. Reason number four, LEDs are cool. I mean, LEDs are actually cool. Mercury and metal halide outputs a lot of heat that can be damaging to your live specimen. LEDs operate at a cooler temperature. Okay, there you have it. Four reasons why you should choose LED over mercury and metal halide systems. So Cooled offers the PE300 in three models. So they have the PE300 Lite, the White, and the Ultra. The spectral output on all three is exactly the same. The differences between the three models have to do with controllability. The PE300 Lite has a broad spectrum output. So it's a white light output that's gonna cover a broad range of filters. So here if we look at the PE300 Lite controller, we have our on off button, and then we have intensity adjustment from zero to 100% in 1% increment. So the PE300 light is a good option if you just wanna replace a mercury or metal halide system, especially if you don't have a need to hook the light source up to software to control it. The next step up from the light is gonna be the PE300 white. So the PE300 white comes with two advantages over the PE300 light. The PE300 white can be controlled through third-party software with a USB 2 connection. It also allows you to segment three bands of light, the UV, the blue, and the green excitation. So if high-speed imaging is your thing, then you're gonna wanna go with the PE300 Ultra. So the PE300 Ultra has four TTLs that allow you to trigger the UV, blue, and green excitation, as well as a global TTL. The Ultra also has three excitation filter holders, so we can narrow down the excitation of each band before the light enters the microscope. All right, let's hook this thing up to Micromanager and see what it can do. 